Hey everybody, it is Erin and my son came down and of course, what does he want? Fidget spinners. So we went online and there's like a month and a half wait to get a fidget spinner. And I know it's only like $3, but he's a little impatient. And so he looked at me and said, well, can we make one? I said, well, sure. So we went online and we actually found a printable from Red Ted Art and she does have a video on how to do it, but I'm tweaking her video just a little bit because I have some crafty supplies and we're gonna take it a crafty route to it. So my son wanted to do this shape, but my daughter wants this one. And I think I'm gonna do, which one do you think Morgan's gonna want? You think we're gonna try that one? So we're gonna do one of each? All right, so let's do one of each. So the first step is, is cut out your principal. Okay, so each of my kids want a different shape, so I cut them all out and then I traced each of them. Now my daughter wanted this shape and she would like the pink. And so what we did is I just traced it on this foil. This is the Starstruck Foil in Fuchsia from Renia. And I'm just gonna go in and I folded it in half. And now I'm gonna go in and just cut them all up and doing my best to kind of follow the guidelines. I think if the paper is not perfect, I'm not as worried about it. Um, what I'm going to be more worried about is making sure that I get the rest of the alignment correct in terms of making sure that it spins because if you don't center it when you put the rest of the stuff it's not going to spin correctly so my daughter picked the pink and I'll finish I need to do that before I undo this because I folded it over and what I did the main tracing on the main kind of stock of my piece this is just cardboard this actually came from just a box and it's just a little bit of a thicker cardboard to give it some kind of heft and weight to it. So we're gonna do that here in a minute. So first of all, I trace these out and see how they just fit right on here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for cut these out. My son wanted it in silver and my other son wanted it in blue. So this is the Starstruck in silver and this is the, um, the glossy in the sapphire. Okay, so right now what I'm gonna do is, Brandon, you wanna come help? Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to center and we are going to glue on on the front and the back. Let me get my glue open. And I'm just using a quick dry adhesive from Helmar. I think I got a little bit stuck up here on top. And adding a little bit of glue on here. Brandon, can you go ahead and line that up on there? And I'm gonna do this one. Okay, next stage is, is we need to find the centers of these little guys. So one thing you can do is you can take your principles and you fold them in half. So you fold in half this way. And this is for the end of the single one. And then we're also gonna fold it in half this way. So now that you've got it centered, here I have a little black mouse pad and you just push right in here just to find your hole right there, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and line this up on here and I'm going to push to make a hole right through the center of this. And instead of trying to waste a ton of time, I have my um, big bite from Crocodile and I'm gonna set it to the smallest punch, which is right here and go ahead and line this up and give a nice big hole right there in the center. Make sure it is nice and centered because this is the key thing about making sure that it spins. So there we go. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give, so to create less friction, is I am going to place a eyelet inside of this. So actually, I think I need to go to one bigger because I need to place the eyelet inside. So I'm going to the bigger punch here, just big enough so that way I can get the eyelet because this is a bigger set eyelet. Place it in just like that. And now I've created a little bit of a frictionless surface because it's nice and smooth and grooved in. So I need to go all the way back up to the top and I need to reset so I can actually punch my eyelet in. And I always forget what's what. So I'm just gonna do my best to make sure that this fits. I'm gonna place this upside down. Um, actually, there's little groovy things in here. There's little punchy parts. And so that's how you know where you place what to what. And ah, I lost one of my feet so long ago. These are supposed to be able to stand up on their own, but I broke this foot. So that's why it's always been wobbly ever since. 
Okay, you basically go in and you center the sucker and you push and it sets it's since I unpop big. it and there it is. See how it sets it in there? And now I've got a nice little hole that we're gonna use and it is centered. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing. I'm gonna find the centers and I'm gonna poke my hole. My daughter, of course, wanted pink and then my son wanted green. So to find the centers of these ones, you are going to fold going one way this direction and then you're gonna do opposite this direction. And now, if you look, there is a center in there. So I'm gonna find, I might have an easier time finding the center going this way. And there's my center. Same thing with this one. Fold going in half this way, so it looks like you folded it in half. And then also fold it in half going this way. Okay, open it up. Find where those crosshairs are and that is your center. So now that I have the center here, line it up, punch my hole, and I'll continue doing the same thing just like I did with this one. All right, so for this one, I actually changed the bottom of the setting and it actually did a little bit better job of lining it up and kind of made it more groove. We also need to create a little bit of a balance for all of these. So on one side, and just pick your side, we're gonna glue a little bit of a penny and that creates kind of a little bit of a weight. And therefore these guys are only a few cents each to make. Gotta get my glue open first. So a good quality glue, again, I'm using the same glue. Stick the penny on either end. Guys, you wanna come help? Okay, so I'm kind of switching gears from when I first started. Initially, I was trying to do a toothpick, but it's just not going to be sturdy enough. So I actually raided my garage and I found some nuts and bolts. So this is a smallest size screw. You know, if I really wanted to get fancy, I would cut this down to be a little bit shorter. And my son, I asked him if I wanted to put some red gems and he's like, no, 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 I just want it plain. I'm like, okay, then we'll do it plain. So all I'm going to do is I take this and just bolt and screw. And, you know, if you didn't have this, you could probably go buy a pack of these little guys for next to nothing. So it would still be, end up being a cheaper project than if you uh, were to buy it fidget spinner. If you can even find them, <laughs> that's the hard part right now. So I'm just gonna put it to there and then it works like a charm. Because I've added the eyelet in there, it's the metal on metal, it, it, they are flying like no problem. See how just that is so easy. When I was trying to do it the other way around, it was not working at all. And the weights and the coins really make it. So truly this thing, because all I've expense wise, I've used stuff from around the house. I showed the kids what kind of crafty stuff. It was three cents. That's how much this one costs. Now, my other two kids, they do want to have something fun. So I have these gems from Eyelid Outlet and my son was like, oh, blue, how pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on here, line them up so that they screw on nice and flat. As soon as I can get the screw on there. So nice and flat. And then on this side, really simple, put some glue, same glue that's holding everything else together, and then just put a pretty little gem right there. And I know this is super duper long, but I'm trying not to waste a lot of time by um, cutting into the, the bolt here and so it's just a little bit longer and this has to completely dry otherwise it will be kind of wobbly and the good news is is if the gem does fall off for whatever reason this thing will still function if you've got some sort of wire cutters or something i mean look how easy that is if you've got some sort of wire cutters or something then obviously you can shorten this up and it'll work even better i just do not have that capability um I don't feel like hurting myself is the bottom line. So I found the shortest bolt and, and the nut that would fit on it. Um, I think a screw would work if you try to do it on that side, but you know, a nut and a bolt is the easiest way to go on these things. So, and I'll have some links. I'm gonna find a nut and a bolt for you guys. It's nice and short, very similar to what I have here. And see, look, this thing just flies, no problem. And then my daughter, of course, wanted a pink set of eyelet outlet little gems, which are super cute. I already tried to glue these on, so there's some glue sticky stuff on the back. So add a little adhesive right here. 
They just need to finish drying and they are good to go. Now the pennies that were on there, they are on there now. Um, and so this glue takes a little bit of time, but not much. Either way, it looks great. So thanks for stopping by and checking out my DIY fidget spinners. It's my fun way of putting together, um, and I'm not the first one to come up with this concept, but using supplies I have around the house, a fun couple crafty things, the eyelet in there to give you that metal base, and then the bolts to kind of make sure that it spins amazingly. And then obviously the pennies are your weights, and there's no bearings in this thing. It is just simple, simple. You wanna try it for me, Brandon? All right, do it on camera so they can see you. Simple, simple. The other thing is that these are nice and small. Some of the other fidget spinners can be this big. And with a kid's hand, you come over here, this spins in this space. You know, I have a much bigger hand, so I can take a bigger piece, but these ones are nice and tiny, so it's a little more compact for them. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.